Diversity and inclusion are very highly valued commodities in this day and age. But here's a question. Is it possible to be overly inclusive? Is there a point at which we should give up on someone? Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond and welcome again to Fresh. I saw a social media post by a Christian recently. He said, at the end of the day, I'd rather be excluded for who I include than included for who I exclude. One of the toughest decisions we all need to make in life is who to include and who to exclude in our lives. Sure, Jesus chose to dine with tax collectors and prostitutes. But he also said this, when he called his 12 apostles together, he gave them power to heal sickness and power to force demons out of people. He sent them to tell about God's kingdom and to heal the sick. He said to them, when you travel, don't take a walking stick. Also don't carry a bag or food or money. Take for your trip only the clothes you're wearing. When you go into a house, stay there until it's time to leave. If the people in the town will not welcome you, go outside the town and shake the dust off your feet as a warning to them. So the apostles went out, they traveled through all the towns, they told the good news and healed people everywhere. We should never shun people because of their sin or discriminate based on race, color, creed, disability, and so on. But neither should we compromise the gospel of repentance and forgiveness in the name of inclusion. God is the one who gets to tell us what's sin and what's not. Don't water down the gospel. That's his word, fresh for you today. Now, just quickly before we go, I'd love to share more of God's Word with you. So let me encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel at ChristianityWorks.tv because the Word of God is alive and active. It is the power to transform your life. So again, you'll find our YouTube channel at ChristianityWorks.tv. May you be blessed as you receive His Word.